Hello everybody, welcome back to Large Badger Media, this is Rue. Today we got a Happy Squirrel box to open, also known as the Most Modern of Horizons, Part 2. And um, I'm looking forward to digging in this, I still don't have a Ragavan, I still have an Esper Sentinel, I still have a Cabal Coffers, I mean, I have like 22 Fury, so you know, hey, I guess, I guess it's just how that stuff goes. So, without further ado, let's look into this, hopefully this... Box is a little distended or something here. I think it's alright. I got this from um, my LGS, so I'm not thinking it's sus or anything. I did get a Strixhaven box the other day from Amazon. I don't know if y'all saw them on sale for the, the set boxes or $75. I bought one and I got it, and the wrapping definitely looks a little bit sus. Now, I've never ran into an issue, although I don't order a lot of cards from Amazon. I've never run into an issue with them. As far as, you know, giving me bad product. Um, I've ordered some non-Wizard stuff. But, I mean, this box came straight from Wizards. So, I'm assuming it's going to be fine. But we shall see when we get into it. So, here's our display. We can make it display with the squirrel. The squirrel! Squirrel power! With chitter in there. I'm just going to scoot this over. I think it's kind of amusing. Alright, so I'm hoping to get any of those products. I'm actually particularly wanting to get a uh, Cabal Coffers. So I play, I do play with a lot of black decks. So that's what I'm hoping. Um, these are American, so there's no pull tab or anything. And they'll be in, as I guess you could say, the correct order, right? So they'll be in rares in the back. And that's right, and we'll have list cards in here because this is a set box. So let's see what our art card is here. Wah! That's a Wah card, apparently, also known as the uh, Prismatic Ending. And I'm going to go through the comments fairly quickly. This product's been open quite a bit, so I think everybody's mostly familiar with it. And we'll get our little board set up here. There we go. Have some uncommons. Foundation Break is still Dromedary. And our first turn, the Sanctor Invec. Okay, another uncommon, the Seal of Cleansing. Showcase common here. Hello, late dinner, there we go. And a foil common um, blacksmith skill. And then our Modern Horizons throwback card, fact or fiction. We'll stick that over there. So, um, I've actually, this is actually my first box I've ever opened in this. Now, I've opened about 900,000 packs of this. I've done lots of three packs and this and that and the others and bundles and all that. This is the first actual box I've ever broke down and bought, so I'm kind of looking forward to it. The Winchester Draft. I don't know if that's anything to do with, uh, you know, Supernatural or not, but there we go. There we go. There's a little art card there. Step through. Planes. And our commons. Timeless Provisioner. Uncommon there, Sanctuary Raptor, the Scurry Oak, Squirrel Sovereign, and then a Sylvan Anthem War Rare. And then the Karmic Guide. And then our showcase is the Arcus Acolyte. And a Foil Bone Charge. So very interesting there. So, so far we're just kind of trucking along, nothing super exciting yet. Um, I did like the Modern Horizons list card there. Modern Horizons 1, which is kind of convenient that. Alright, well, this one may have a list in it, we'll see. So we got the Blossoming Calm there. Ah, oh, it's so calm. And we have our Commons. We have the Dragon Rage Channeler, which was, you know, decent at one point. And that one. I'm not going to say that, but it's the NA word. All right, then we have the Gorilla Shaman in common. We have our Old Border common here. Burden Darius common, whatchamacallit, and then our, goodbye. Lightly played, painful lesson from uh, from Battle Bond here. Squirrel power. All right, All right there we go. So we got the squirrel. There she is again, just you know, as a mockery to what I just pulled and stuff. Alright, there we go. Some commons. 
some graceful restoration, the glorious enforcer, the chef's kiss for a rare. Man, there is the damn Esper Sentinel. I have not been able to ever pull one of these, and there it is. Woohoo! I will take that. That's going to go in a column way down here. This is I've been wanting to pull these. I'm super excited for it. There's the Scourge Familiar. Hello. I don't know what's going on there. There we go. The Scourge Familiar is my another in common here. Old Border Blacksmith Skill and a Foil Urza Saga Showcase. Holy smokes! I'll take that. That's that's a decent hit. Um, yeah, I actually have a couple of Urza Sagas, and I have one both the regular and the showcase like that, but I don't think I have a foil one, so that's a pretty decent hit. Not at all mad about that. Alright, here we go. Strike it rich. Bling! See what I did there? Yeah, okay. I know. I'm funny. At least to myself. That's all that matters. I'm here to entertain myself. Alright, Spreading Insurrection, Captain Ripley Events, and the Profane Tutor. I like him alright, but he's kind of profane. Again, we have the Scourge Familiar. We have an Old Border Floodhound, a Foil Revolutionist, and from Theros, the Doomwake Giant List Rare Hit. There's a lot of words. Good old elemental uh, enchantment creature and giant. Alright, we got the game. And let's see what we get here. We got, uh, what is this? Set this, the harvester's hand. And there she is. And there's our game. Mishra's Manufactory this time. Woo! There's some commons, common stuff and things. There's an uncommon. The Fear and the Furious. I'm sorry, the Fast and the Furious. Oh, and said and done. And then our rare is the Unmarked Grave. And our first merit, Mythic, the Imperial Recruiter. So there we go on that. Get all Imperial Recruiter, Old Border Terminal Agony. And a Scuttle Tide foil. So first Mythic. We're a few packs in, but we got our first Mythic, so I'll take it. And I'm kind of bouncing around. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, so it's not like I can say, well, you know, on this side of the thing, nah. I'm just totally bouncing around to ensure that I have, you know, no way to figure out how they did this box. But that's all right. All right, late to dinner. With a little foil thingy there. All right, and then we have a foil land. Whee, foily! And then some commons, and then our first uncommon is a Throbbing Watcher. I don't know why she's throbbing, but that's alright. The Flame Tongue Yearling, the Flame Blitz, Flay Essence, and Sudden Edict. And then our next card should be it. Yep, and then we have the Harmonic Prodigy. It's a rare. The Zirin Orb, uncommon. Mine Collapse is an old border common, and then a Foil Tangle Pool Bridge. And those lands actually have held, I mean, they're a quarter or something like that. But, you know, they do okay. That that foil one's probably 40 cents, maybe 50 cents. So, you know, they're not they're not terrible. Those little lands for like little dualies. Okay, captured by Legax. Yummy. Tastes like chicken. So we've got a treasure. Some commons. We have the Herd Belleth. The Arcus Acolyte, Constable of the Realm, and a Diamond Lion for our rare. The Territorial Kavu for our second rare. Mog Salvage. Faithless Salvaging for our showcase. And then a Foil Phantasmal Dread Maul common. So, what do you guys think so far? I've still only had one Mythic. I mean, that's just the way that stuff goes sometimes. We'll see if this is going to be a heavy Mythic box. Um, still no uh, uh, Watch My Fetch Lands, which is interesting. It's food for thought, if you, you know, if you ask me. There's the Necrogoyf. Maybe the Necrogoyf can think about it. There's a Foily Forest. Foily! There we go there, some commons, and then we have Lucid Dreams for our first uncommon here. Altar of the Goyf, 
the Prophetic Titan, and the Thought Monitor Lizard. It's a rare, and a second rare, the Enchantress Presence. The Enchantress is his presence. So we have an Old Border Prismatic Ending, and then the Loathsome Curator Foil. So I'm still a little concerned about our lack of fetchies and lack of Ragavans, although I'm happy about the Esper Sentinel. That was one of the cards I'm looking for here. Usually I was not looking for, but that's alright. And then we got Krabby. Alright, let's see what else we get here. So there we go, some commons, and then we have a Ravenous Squirrel. He can eat on that little food over there, a little Ravenous Squirrel, and Moderation. So maybe you should eat it in moderation. Otherwise you may have a calibrated, calibrated blast at his back end. Sea Drake, the Kitchen Imp, and Shrug It Rich in the foil. Just one, just one. So hopefully I'll pull something good here in just a minute. Um, another Mythic, maybe. Looks like I might get a list card this time. Let's see what we got here. We have the Rust Veil Bridge. And there it is with all of its rust and veilness. And there's some commons. And then we have Said and Done again is um, an uncommon. We have the Lucid Dreams again. And there we go. There's at least a Fetchy. And maybe we'll put them over here somewhere too. Let's see. I like where those are. So we'll put you, put you right there. So there's our first one. We got the old, the old Marsh Flats. Then we have Alonis, the Zoologist. We have a Riptide Laboratory. So three rares. I know that's not too bad. A Water Terminal Agony again, and a Foil Extruder. And then we got another list foil. We have Corlash, Heir to Black Blade. From Future Sight. That's a cool looking card. I always enjoyed. I play, was playing pretty heavily in Future Sight. I actually have quite a few Future Sight cards. I have most of that set. I was actually playing with teenagers. I was teaching high school chemistry at that point and was playing with teenagers and we had a good time playing magic after school and before school and stuff. Alright, Caldera complete. Not a Phyrexian complete, but it's a Caldera one. There we have a bird. We have some more commons. We're gonna scour the desert. We're gonna first in common. Necromancer's familiar. In the Void Mirror for our rare here. And Larry Nevin's Disc. Blossoming Calm is an uncommon in the showcase. And then a Breathless Night Common Foil. Let's keep trucking along here. Yeah, we got a lot of packs to open. There's a Goblin. Here it is. Damn. Oh, yeah, it is damn. Alright, there's our Goblin friend. I'm hoping we can pull his monkey friend soon. Alright, so shiny. We have Ren's Run Hydra. The Monoskeleon. And a Misty Rainforest. So there is our second Fetchy. Along with a Mischief Factory. The Violent Tumor in the Old Border. And Late to Dinner Foil. So we're starting to pick up a little bit here. I'll take a couple fetchies. It's not exactly what I'm looking for. I have all the fetches and I'm not a big mana person. Although I started playing commander all of a sudden, which is kind of weird, but you know, hey, whatever. Another Russellville Bridge. It's a different picture this time. Hmm, what a clue. Is that a clue to something fortuitous? We shall see. Got through the uncommons here, or to the uncommons, and we have the Squirrel Sanctuary. Underworld Hermit, the Legion Vanguard, Clattering Augur, and a Sword of Hearth and Home. So we finally got our second Mythic out of here. And it's one of the swords. So I'll take it. Then we have the Curion Ranger, a Lens Flare, and the Unholy Heat Foil Common. So now we're up to two Mythics and two Fetches. So like I said, we're starting to kind of pick the heat up a little bit here. We started off a little slow, but we're picking up. We have the Air Amoeba for my buddy POA. If you not watch his channel, you should give it a go. It's pretty no frills cracking and battling. And here we go. Uncommons. We have Altar of the Goyf, 
Prophetic Titan, Scuttle Tide, our rare and Inve inevitable betrayal, Dress Down, and a Yavamaya Elders Uncommon, and a Glimmer Baron for my friend Matt at Cracking Packs MTG. Also a great channel if you go check it out. World Weary Foil. And here we go, maybe a list card. Let's see what we get here. So we have uh, Grissix, the Hunger Tide, Grist. So cute. Foily Mountain. I got those as foily friends. And some commons. We got Break the Ice this is our first uncommon here. And another old for old retro border, I guess, a Diamond Lion. So this is our second tap on that. The Dock Hand. Sterling Grove. Good for those shrine decks. <laughs> There's the Aramoeba, so you know that was some 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 fortune telling there, I guess. Storm God's Oracle, and then we have a hammers a hammer mage from uh, one of the Urza sets for our list slot. Still holding out for Ragavan, that would be nice, but we'll see. So we have the Radiant Epicure, a Foily Swamp, it's kind of a treasure within itself. We have some uncommons here, another Aramoeba, World Weary, and for our uncommon we have the Scuttle Tide. For our rare we have General Ferris Rocker, Counterspell, can never have too many of those. The Jade Avenger, and then our other foil rare is Lanus the Cryptologist, which is a fairly unexciting hit there in the far as bulk rares go. Okay, okay, let's see what we get here other than this bird. So we have Druid Grief. I think we could use a Grief too. I think I'm also missing that card, although I'm not using it at the moment. Okay, for so mainly because I don't have it, I guess. All right, uh, uncommons is the Tide Shaper and a Scalding Tarn for our third fetchy. We have the Hunting Pack, World Weary, and a Foil Disciple of the Sun common. Now we get down to the last few here. Yeah. I'm down to about six, seven, eight packs, something like that. Like I got a mini game, and we have Danny Dandy Hada, Flames Walker there. Woo! Lightly played game, totally lost in translation. Some commons. Then we have the Specimen Collector, it's not uncommon. Junk Winder, Winder, Goblin, Trap Runner, and the Mythic Garth One Eye because. Everybody gets these these one. And then we have the Cursed Totem. Step through, which we got earlier as a uh, art card. And, and a Void Mirror, so our third mythic, I'm sorry, our third rare foil. And this time it's the Void Mirror. Again, nothing super exciting for me anyway. I don't know if anybody plays a Void Mirror or not. I'm just starting to dabble. I played my first game of Commander in probably eight or nine years last Friday, so I'm getting ready to play another game tomorrow. That'll be fun. We got Abundant Harvest. Oh, that's a delightful card. And a Squirrel. Let's get through these commons here. Yeah. Oh, there it is again. Just in case. Again, prophetic. Okay, we got the Liquid Metal Torque, which is fun to play with. I actually do use this card. And Dakin as our fourth mythic here. The Milliken, Gargadon, and a foil echoing return. All right, so this is the last pack on the right hand side. I think we're down to probably about eight packs or so. Keep it going here. Looks like we might get a list card. There's old Garth one eye himself. Yep, we've seen you recently, my friend. My friend, my nemesis. 
so here we go. We got the batter bone. Not batter to bone, just in case you're hungry. Combined chrysalis and our rares and magus of the bridge. And the necrogoyf. We saw him earlier. The bone shredder and bone shards in the old one. And there is a yet another abundant harvest foil. And some swift foot boots from Masters 25 list. Um, if anybody got into the CVS packs, I actually went and picked up three of those for $9.99 each the other day. And got all six of my uh, cards were, were scuttle, uh, what is it, Scoot, scuttle skewed or whatever. Which I thought was just like crazy. All six of the, the promos in there were the same thing. There's Chatterfang. Um, but I did, out of the three, I got one Japanese Strixhaven and I got two um, of the Master 25 sets. So I thought that was cool. Not too bad for like three random packs, if I say so myself. I did leave one for the next person if they wanted to come and get one. Voila, and there's Usury, who we also saw in art card form just slightly earlier. Patchwork Gnomes, Timeless Witness, and a foil lens flare that nobody cares about. All right, let's see what other juice we have here. Oh, maybe another list. It's like another list, another list. Scion. Some uncommon, some sorry, common. There's some uncommons. There's a specimen collector. Junkwinder again. The Goblin Trap Runner. And the Archon of Cruelty, which I pulled one recently for our fifth mythic. Angelic Curator. The Dread Maul. And our foil. And then, huh, this is about the tenth Saber Ants I pulled out of the list. I swear this has got to be the most common list like card right there. It's that, that one, the Saber Ants. I don't know why I've gotten 50 bajillion of those, but I have. I like Mr. Squirrel, you need to get in there. There you go. Well, or not. Well, Mr. Squirrel is done, so we're going to have to say goodbye to our box friend here. Goodbye, box friend. Alright, let's wrap this up. We're running over 20 minutes. Appreciate you for staying along for the ride. There's Lonus again. And we have the Feast of Sanity, Mystic Redaction, Ghost Lit Drifter, and we have the Obsidian Charmaw, and a Sea Drake. And now we're all over the place. Well, I just have to fix that here in a minute. Why can't you cooperate? Thank you. All right, what are we down to? We're down to five after this one. So six, five left. We're getting close to the end here. Let's wrap it up. There's Dakin again. In his other form, the Titleist Witness. Some almonds. The Batterbone again. And a Timeless Dragon and Chance Encounter. Nested Shambles, and a Parcel Mirror. In the foil there. Another Timeless Dragon. And there's General Ferris. Some commons and commons. And there's Lazatep the Chancellor. Unmarked Grave. The Ranger, Chatterstorm, and a Foil Scour of the Desert. So kind of petering out here a little bit. We're getting a little bulky. We could use another Beast Mythic or another Fetchy. Maybe this will be a good list hit. See what we get here. Oh, Golgari's Thug from Ravnica. So I didn't mean to pull it, but I just, that just wasn't, oh, oh, went to the uncommon rather quickly there. Rather impetuous. Lee. There's a couple arc bounds, a barbed spike, power despot, and the arid mesa for our fourth. Then we have greed, the ornithopter paradise, recalibrate, and this one we've already seen. So are we going to hit all five? I wasn't trying to play a get all the fetchies challenge, but that seems to be what we're doing here. 
This one has a squirrel in it. Here's another bridge. All right, the Timeless Witness. Archmean of Sorrows and Rise and Shine. Along with the Extruder. And a Foily Bridge. Last two, here we go. Got a bird. Titania. Got the Jabba Delineer. Grace. And the Manufacturer. And this is only my second one of these. Weirdly, I haven't pulled any of these. So I'm kind of pleased to have that. Although I have one already. It's not helping my collection, but it is helping my token decks. Alright, here we go. Last chance for romance. Come on, Raggy. I need me a monkey. We have five mythics. I could definitely take one more. Got an elemental there. We have Dragon's Forge bridge there. Let's see what we get. Got the young necromancer. And Sarah's emissary for our mythic, along with Chainer. And in with the Reaver. So thanks everybody. I know this video went along. I appreciate you staying on board with me. Sorry we're moving around a little bit. Everybody have a good evening and thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment.